Hi, we are Anna Mighty Sound and you are in our Parisian showroom. We have invited Michael Ulbrich, who is the designer behind Consolidated Audio, a brand dedicated to step-up transformers. Michael, could you tell us more about who you are? Of course. I'm an electronics engineer and I got interested in audio transformers. Um, during, even in my early teens, when I was, let's say, 12 or 13 years old, I put transformer for, for, for this amplifier. And <clears throat> a little later, when the, uh, the analog audio got more interest uh, recently, then I, I, I recognized that the, uh, the MC step-up transformer, which uh, is used to amplify the tiny signals of an MC phono cartridge, is one of the most critical components in an analog audio chain. And so I concentrated on, on this component and tried to build what is technically possible. Thank you, Michael. Now, could you tell us more about the basic principle of a step-up transformer? A step-up transformer consists of a primary winding, which is just a bunch of wire, which is wound around a core, and that's the second most important component. The core is made of electrical steel. There are different materials available which also contribute to the overall sound of the transformer. And we have the primary and we have the secondary winding which is denoted as the secondary and of course the, the step-up transformers is built for passive voltage amplification. That means that the winding ratio between primary and secondary is for example 1 to 10. Which means that the <coughs> MC cartridge which is connected to the primary with its tiny output voltage of let's say 1 millivolt is amplified by a factor of 10. So here we have on the secondary we have the MM phono stage which, with its characteristical input resistance of 47K and on that side 1 millivolt on the primary, 1 to 10 step up ratio, now we have 10 millivolt at the input of the MM phono stage. And that's how the MC step up transformer is used for passive amplifying the tiny output voltage of the MC cartridge. Is the probably the, ch the choice of the core material, which is an electrical steel. And there have been certain developments recently which, which have, have generated very low loss and high permeability core materials, which are are really um, uh, very much suited for building uh, MC step-up transformers from. And <clears throat> next, the, 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 the primary and the secondary winding have to be very narrowly mixed to, to get a wide bandwidth transformer. And there are a lot of different design possibilities how to achieve this. Thank you, Michael. So, what does this consolidated step-up transformer so special? Well, there are a lot of design decisions which have to be made when, when building a step-up transformer. In the first place, it's important which core material to choose. There have been recent developments in, in these soft magnetic materials which, which lead to very low loss and high permeability materials, which are very suitable for building a high-quality uh, step-up transformer from. Then secondly, what's, what's also important is how to, to mix the primary and the secondary winding so that they are very close to one another because that in the end determines the bandwidth of the transformer. And of course we want to have a high bandwidth transformer which goes from very low deep frequencies up to very high travel frequencies to have a a really um, high-end audio experience. So, in the end, it's the mix of several of these design decisions which, which lead to a high-quality step-up transformer. But please find your own 
uh, find your own judgment by listening to a, uh, such a step up transformer uh, if you have an opportunity to do so. Thank you, Michael.